Hello, my name is uh, Walter Scott and I just uh, wanted to provide a, a few personal uh, thoughts about the um, arrival of uh, electric vehicles onto our roads um, and uh, streets, uh, not least because since uh, starting up the Defence Green uh, Network about six uh, months ago, it's become quite clear to us that the that uh, electric vehicles uh, are an issue uh, which uh, generate a lot of interest and conversation. Uh, not surprisingly, because we are a uh, uh, nation of proud car owners, um, but we are also uh, a nation of car owners who contribute uh, very substantially to the uh, UK's carbon footprint. Um, uh, I understand that uh, over one third of uh, the uh, UK's carbon footprint comes from road uh, transport. Um, and this is the uh, reason that electric vehicles uh, form quite a significant part of the Department for Transport's uh, road to zero strategy. Um, and we can expect to see uh, sales of electric vehicles uh, climbing rapidly in the years uh, ahead. Um, last year I uh, lived and worked uh, in a variety of different locations. One of those was um, in a, a studio room just uh, opposite the um, Charing Cross Hospital um, uh, and the view out of my uh, window directly ahead was of a, a rather scraggy privet hedge uh, which was uh, used by a series of members of the uh, public for various uh, reasons, some of which I'm still trying to erase from my uh, memory as I went about my uh, daily work. Um, but at 11 o'clock of greater interest to me were uh, three electric vehicle charging points uh, with parking spaces uh, provided by Source London uh, and it was fascinating to watch over three months or so how uh, these facilities were or were not being used by the public and for a lot of the time um, these uh, spaces were completely empty. Um, occasionally a private uh, car owner or a taxi driver would park up there uh, and the uh, vehicle would sit there for four or five or six hours um, charging up. And it occurred to me over that time uh, that actually uh, supply needs to exceed demand. That is absolutely crucial because people contemplating uh, what kind of vehicle to buy next very much need the confidence that uh, that there will be plentiful uh, charging points wherever in the country they um, travel uh, to. Um, uh, but I also, I mean, clearly uh, climate change and carbon is uh, the most uh, topical uh, reason and argument for uh for going electric, but there are uh, three other um, arguments that I can see for buying an electric vehicle. The first is that of uh, air quality. Um, so at another stage in the last year, I was living in the sort of crook between the Hammersmith flyover and Hammersmith bridge, where, as you can imagine, with the enormous volume of traffic um, around that area, slightly less so now that Hammersmith uh, Bridge is closed, but the air quality is really not at all good. Um, but of course, as, as we uh, gradually move towards electric vehicles, um, that can only have a uh, really positive impact on the quality of air in some of these parts of London where uh, people's physical and mental health will be affected significantly by uh, pollution from fossil fuels. And I remember 
quite early on in the first lockdown last uh, year, driving my car with its internal combustion engine to the local uh, garage on the lower Richmond Road to do some shopping and getting out of my car at this filling station and suddenly realising that I could smell the country, I could smell the grass on Putney uh, Common wafting up the uh, street. A remarkable uh, sense at a petrol station and just thinking what would it be like uh, to be experiencing this every day. The pleasure of just being able to smell fresh air. The second uh, way in which I like to think about it is that of noise and it is very very easy to forget or to not be aware of quite how much noise an internal combustion engine produces uh, and as you brave it talking into your smartphone walking up the street quite how hard it is to have a conversation or even to speak to my children as I'm walking with them around the streets not to mention living under the um, Heathrow flight path and these electric vehicles purr like a cat they are they are wonderfully quiet um, and if you live beside the Hammersmith flyover just think in 10 15 20 years time when the vast majority of vehicles on our roads are electric the reduction in noise that we will enjoy from that um, and quite how much impact all this noise has on our mental well-being as we go about our uh, lives in cities the third um, regard in which I'd like to think about electric vehicles is that of light and our vision. Um, a little anecdote concerning one of my political heroes, Lord uh, Deben, formerly John uh, Gummer, the longest ever serving Environment Secretary under John Major. Lord Deben, just after lockdown started, found himself in Beijing in China um, at a uh, climate change conference um, and as he was walking back to his uh, hotel one night with a senior Chinese uh, uh, government official he looked round and suddenly realised that this official had tears pouring down his face and Lord uh, even said what's wrong what's the issue and this Chinese official looked up and pointed and said for the first time in 60 years of life I have seen the stars I can see the stars and of course the uh, quality of light over Beijing had just been completely transformed by the fact that there were very, very few vehicles on the road. And I think it's very easy, again, as we go around our lives in cities, to forget the way in which these tiny little particles of pollution from fossil fuels cloud our vision and our sight, and you lose the contrast and the vibrancy of colours. Um, and as we move to electric vehicles, um, charging them up from the uh, national grid, which is itself getting greener year on year and should be carbon neutral by 2030, we will gradually enjoy much better clarity of vision on our streets and the light will become more intense uh, and we'll be able to see the stars overhead. And I think that that is another way in which uh, our mental well-being can only benefit from moving to uh, electric vehicles. So those are really three regards alongside the most pressing issue of climate change, where 
I would argue strongly for buying an electric uh, vehicle. And that's where my mind is at as I make um, my own choice in buying a vehicle. Air quality, uh, the positive impact on noise, and the really positive impact on the light and quality of vision that we enjoy in our cities. It would be very interesting to hear what you think. Goodbye.